Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in MLS Next Pro. We'll take you backward before we catch you forward and get you caught up on the week that was and get you ready for the week that will be, which has already had some action take place. So we'll get you ready for everything going on in uh, the MLS Next Pro standings and all of the teams that are hot, especially out west, trying to really distance themselves from everybody else. And we've only played about a third of the season. We'll get into all of that as we go here on the show. Let's go backward before we go forward and get you into the week that was starting back on Monday, May 29th. Orlando City B, 3-2 winners over New York Red Bulls. That one was at uh, Osceola Heritage Park. And in that particular match, it was an own goal on the board for a Orlando City B gave them a 1-0 lead after the first five minutes. Red Bulls come back with two of their own. Ibrahim Kasula and Ricardo Gorde made it 2-1. Red Bulls 2 at the break. Jack Lynn comes in and scores in the 61st. And uh, Shakur Muhammad comes in as well. Three minutes apart, two goals, and that was the difference. OCB 3-2 winners over uh, Red Bulls 2. Friday night football, Austin FC 2 continues their winning ways out west, shutting out Real Monarchs by the score of 3-0. Whitecaps FC2 at Swan Guard. Drew Sporting Kansas City 2 1 1 after 90. Whitecaps 1 5 4 in PKs. Saturday even had a little bit of action. Timbers 2 doubled up Loons 2 4 2 at Providence Park. In that particular game, a uh, bit of a rough start so far for uh, Timbers 2 on the season, but it would be Florian Monzon with a brace starting in the sixth minute. He would. Uh, Bookend that with a goal in the 65th. It would be a Tega Ikoba with a 20th minute PK. You would also add a goal in the 80th minute by Victor Griffith. Cameron Lacey had the brace for Loons 2, but it was not enough. T2 over Loons 2 by the final of 4 2 back on Saturday. And then Houston Dynamo 2 continuing the rough start for LAFC 2. And it was a shutout for Dynamo 2. And uh, Full points to the visitors on the campus of Cal State Fullerton as they would go on to win 2-0. Busy, busy day on Sunday. Once again, that is no real – that's no real news. Sunday is the day for MLS Next Pro. Chicago Fire 2 went to lower.com field, came away with a 4-2 win over Crew 2. On the day, it would be Marco Micheletto and Isaiah Parente scoring in the 70th and at 90 plus 8, but Chicago Fire 2 already had a 4-0 lead by that point. It was uh, goals on the board by Justin Reynolds, Richard Fleming, Billy Hensey, and Luca Purpa that would distance themselves out 4-0 before the two goals on the board for Crew 2. Big win on the road for Fire 2, winning 4-2. FC Cincinnati 2 over Philadelphia Union 2 on the campus of Northern Kentucky University. That one was a 2-1 final. Goals by uh, Holly and Dotto Valenzuela would uh, be the difference for uh, FC Cincinnati Union 2 would score in the 74th, but they'd be playing the final 40-plus minutes a man down after a red card in the 48th. So FC Cincinnati with full points, winning at home at Northern Kentucky. First match of the week is in the Eastern Conference. We go to Joe Davis Stadium as the homestand continues for Huntsville City FC. Wild one against NYC FC 2. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at uh, MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. Of late as they've scored just 12 goals overall this season. But they're starting to find the back the back of the net with more regularity. Two, it'll be three at the top and a 4-3-3 formation for this unit. And the highlight is in goal. It'll be Huntsville going right to left. And NYCFC2 going right, or left to right. And here we go from Joe Davis Stadium. Ball clipped forward. Liotti is on. Liotti! Jack Collison wanted a quick start. And Azad Liotti rings the bell early. Executed right. This ball ends up coming down to the feet of Perry! Terrific pass across the middle of the field. Right's pass failed to clear, and then Perry calmly tucks it down the bottom corner. Right. That ball coming in. 
Yagunasev is whistled for the penalty, and Huntsville will have another crack at it. Look at this ball from Wright. He's been so dangerous for the passing. Joe Ash wins possession. Sean Joe Ash starts, stops, tucks it away. Beautifully taken. Yagudev guessed properly. But Joe Ash, too, is looking for a response. There's a ball flown towards the back post. There are options there. Headed across. Pummeled home. And the boys in blue, too. Off of a free kick. Haxari heads it. And Arvalo is the one that puts it away. This is well carried forward. He stepped up to stop a Wusu yet. And now here's a bending effort. Flawlessly executed. Upper corner by Jonathan Jimenez. And it's a one goal differential. All started with a run of a Wusu. And Jimenez perfectly placed upper corner. A 3 2 tally. Hunting this one down. Into the box, looking for the equalizer, and we are tied. It is Myers getting in. The tackle from Longmire didn't get the ball out. Jimenez has scored from this area. Jimenez inside, plays this forward, and NYCFC 2 combined. Jimenez passes to Myers. He finds the net, and it's 4-3. Does Huntsville find an answer? His challenge to his group was to be the hardest working team out there, and here's a yellow card, give it a right. No, it's a straight red. Wow. Wright is given a straight red. And there is the final whistle. What an effort by New York City to come back from 3-0 down to 4-3 winners. And the boys in blue, too, have won a third straight. Seven-goal thriller madness at Joe Davis Stadium. Hunt City comes out on the short end of the seven goals. NYCFC comes away with full points. Also, Red Bulls, too, continued their winning ways at the campus of Montclair State University beating New England Revolution, too, by the score of 4-1. Goal in the fourth minute to get things rolling for uh, Red Bulls, too. Julian Hall, Jack Panayotu would even it up three minutes later. So you're 1-1 after seven minutes. Uh, Oladio Thomas would make it uh, 2-1 at Red Bulls, and that would be the score heading to the break. Doncor, uh, Ronald Doncor would score in the 46th, and uh, Ibrahim Kasula would score in the 71st to be the difference for Red Bulls, too beating Revs 2 by the score of 4-1. Also on the board, Colorado Rapids 2 and Earthquakes 2. This one is our match out west. Can Colorado set a record in MLS Next Pro for unbeaten matches in a sequence? Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. They also played in a 4-3-3 in the match prior. Coach Boucher said his team is fluid in their formation. Here's the lineup for the visitors. Quakes 2 will come out in their signature 4-3-3 formation. Quakes 2 has been pretty consistent. On the left side of your screen is the visitors in their light grays. On the right side of your screen going to left against LA Galaxy 2. And here we have a chance. Skay it. Skay it. Shoots and he scores! A great chance here for Jack Skayen putting the Earthquakes up 1-0. It was a beautiful progressive pass played by the Earthquakes. Skayen made an excellent run, timed it. Ball swung across, chance here for Richmond. Richmond cuts middle. Richmond shot and it's in! Richmond does well. Cuts right and then creates just a little bit of space that he needs. Among the best goal scorers in MLS Next Pro play with a huge chance here. Hanya shoots and Hanya scores! 
Great right. composure by Yosuke Hanya. Keeps this ball low, sends Emi Ochoa the wrong way. Cross sent in. Towards the back of the six, curling, and it's in! My goodness! Do with the heroics for Colorado. Edward shot, and it's saved! A second consecutive save for Beaudry. The Bourbon Bourbonnais, Illinois native, stepping up to the spot. Marking it, shot, and it's in! Colorado Rapids 2 come up with a huge performance in this penalty shootout to take the extra point. So Colorado Rapids 2, 11 in a row and pending. Growing, if you want to ask them, winning 4-2 in PKs. 2-2 getting the extra point at Dick Sporting Goods Park. Toronto FC 2 over Orlando City B. That one was a 3-0 win for uh, TFC 2 with uh, goals by Walks, Simmermancic, Simmermancic and uh, Batiste, and Jesus Batiste at 33-35 uh, and 71. TFC 2 with the win, 3-0 over OCB, as uh, OCB has a bit of an up-and-down week. And Atlanta United 2, big win against Inter-Miami 2, five goals on the board, and the return of Ozzy Alonso. Here's your highlights from the SDH Network. Jason Longshore, Jared Smith on the call. Dribbling forward into the middle third. Now up the left side to Lucas Meek. Meek defended by Brennan. Tried the 1-2. Atlanta got the deflection. Tuomasi won it back. Brennan. Brennan has Tamimi outside to the right. Plays it to him. Brennan's tripped up by Sunderland. Advantage played. Tamimi squares it across. It's given back to Tamimi. Top of the 18. Big save. Follow up. Goal! 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 Atlanta! United 2! The advantage played to perfection. Kareem Tamimi stopped, but Erickson Tenno slams it home on the rebound. Mejia pulls it back. Good pass inside to Centeno. Into the 18. Erickson Tenno wants to get to the right foot. Lays it off for Firmino over to the right side. Firmino forward to Tiente. Back to Firmino. Firmino! Goal! 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 Nicholas Firmino, sixth of the year. Atlanta United 2, 2-0 two lead tonight. Well, what do you want to say about that? That's absolutely beautiful from Atlanta United 2, recycling the set piece. And then a little 1-2-3 in the box. Nice soft touches. Get it into Firmino, and you break Miami the way we talked about coming back from halftime. You don't give them any hope. Now you put a two-goal cushion on yourself, up a man, and... This is a great job of protecting that lead and now building on it, learning from mistakes early in the season. Up the flank to Mejia. Mejia, good work on the dribble. Great ball to, to Firmino. Firmino in behind. Firmino into the 18. Firmino, goal, goal, goal! Number two of the night. Number seven on the year. Number three for Atlanta. And they are routing Miami. 3-0. So we talk all the time, Jason, about you play to the whistle. At least two Miami defenders thought he was off, and he may have been. But they hesitated on their step. They looked back at the AR, raised the hand, and then you don't have help closing down Nicholas Firmino, and you want to have help closing down Nicholas Firmino, I promise you. Now we'll see who gets sacrificed for the number 85. It's going to be Tamimi. That'll move Firmino up top. A lot of hard work for Tamimi, but he hasn't seen a ton of the ball tonight. You know, he got a good shot on goal early in the game that was saved that ends up leading to the goal for Eric Centeno. He's opportunistic with his opportunity there. It's just a really good save from Owen Finnerty. Osvaldo Alonso, first game for Atlanta United to fifth game for an Atlanta United team. Was able to play four last season before being injured at D.C. United. He'll slot into the holding midfield along with Kofi Tuomasi. Tony Tiente will step up just a little bit higher in that midfield trio. Alonso's been training fully for a few weeks with Atlanta United's first team. This is his first match action. 
This was a big step in his recovery, according to Gonzalo Pineda, who is here tonight watching. Squares over to the left. Seasock, pass picked off by Remy Okanlola. Here comes Remy into the attacking third. Remy squares it across. Firmino lays it off to Mejia. Shot! Goal! 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 David Mejia! Fourth of the night for Atlanta United to assist to Firmino. Great work by Remy Okanlola. And it's 4-0. I don't think anyone's having more fun right now than Vicente Reyes, who has had to make multiple wind sprints the length of the field, and that time slides into it. Back to Morales. Back to Reyes. Across to Cobb. Cobb passes forward to Alonso. Ozzy Alonso down the right side. What a ball to Rocket Rita Rita who's onside. Rita Rita cross. Mejia. First time. Goal! 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 He is second of the night. Rocket Rita Rita with his first ever assist at this level. And Osvaldo Alonso started the whole sequence with an amazing ball down the right side to Rita Rita. 5 0. What a ball from Ozzy. <laughs> what a run from Rocket Rita Rita. We talked about he's been taking the fight to whoever is in front of him right there. The only thing in front of him was the green grass. He looks up. He doesn't panic in the moment. Has his head up watching. And it's a great run from David Mejia into the open space. A picture-perfect ball to Mejia where he can get his foot on it, put it away. Last match last week, North Texas SC shuts out uh, LA Galaxy by the final of 2-0. That one was at Choctaw Stadium. A brace for Anthony Ramirez, six minutes apart in the 50th and the 56th, sets things square for the home side with their win over Los Dos. So that sets you up for the standings heading into a very, very busy week. In the Eastern Conference, Northeast Division, Crown Legacy at 27 points after 11 matches, four points clear of Revs and Red Bulls. Revs, too, have one more win in the 12 matches played. NYCFC2 are at 19 points. Philadelphia Union 2 at 14. TFC2 with the win are now 3-7-1. and one. They are at 10 points. Central Division. Orlando City B getting kind of crowded. OCB stumbling as of late, 21 points. Crew 2 at 20. Atlanta United 2, 5-4-3-1. That one is the shootout wins category. They're at 19 points. And then in the second half of the Central Division, FC Cincinnati 2 at 13. Fire 2 at 12. Inner Miami 2 at 3-8-1 are at 10 points. Hunt City are at 1, 6, 3, and 3, and they are at 9 points. Out West, Colorado Rapids, too, putting up an early marker. Once again, 11 matches out of the blocks without a loss, 8 0 3 and 2, 29 points in their first 11 matches. Austin FC, 2 is second at 22. Then it's a group. Dynamo, 2 at 19 points, 5, 4, 2, and 2. They have a better points per game average than North Texas SC who also have five wins and an average of 1.46. St. Louis City, two at 18 points. Sporting Kansas City, two at 16. They are ahead of Loons, two at sixth and seventh on goal difference. Identical records after 11 matches at 4-4-3 and 1. Sporting Kansas City, two, three goals better at, the, at, at present. Pacific Division. Whitecaps, two at 23 points. Tacoma Defiance at 18. Earthquakes, two at 15. T2, after catching fire as of late, they have 12 points, as do Real Monarchs. Identical records at 4-7. and seven. Better goal difference, 7 goals better than RSL does Portland have. Galaxy 2, Los Dos are at 10 points after 12 matches. LAFC 2 at 1-5-4 and four have 7 points on the board in their first handful of games. You have uh, North Texas SC and bits of uh, news going in and around. North Texas SC, Carl Seint has been called into uh, national team duty. Uh, according to our friends at North Texas SC, called up by head coach Gabriel Calderon to the Haitian national team for their June FIFA window running from June 12 to 20. Also made the final roster for Haiti ahead of the 23 Gold Cup. Made a senior debut for the Haitian national team in an international friendly against Guatemala back in March of 2022. Five matches, 162 minutes for Haiti during the Nations League and League B play. One start, that was in the win over Bermuda back on March 28th. 89 minutes on the board for him there. Uh, we mentioned the comeback by Colorado Rapids 2 to break the league record unbeaten streak. 
and set up what uh, they have as the streak that is ongoing. Your team of the month, according to MLS Next Pro for the month of May, Colorado Rapids, too, no real surprise. Also, it was a player of the month, Yuri Tavares from Crown Legacy. Three goals and one assist, four wins and a loss for Crown Legacy in the month of May as they stay on top in the Eastern Conference. Also, goalkeeper of the month, Adam Beaudry from Colorado Rapids, too. Once again, no real surprise for the Academy product. Coach of the month, Clint P.A. from Revs, two For their performance over the last 30 days, once again, you have the comeback win over Philadelphia Union 2, continuing a win streak, four-game win streak in the month. Clint P.A. gets Coach of the Month, a rising star of the month, Diego Hernandez for North Texas SC, 18-year-old Academy standout, first-ever professional goal registered and assist, keeping North Texas SC unbeaten in the month. So those are your uh, monthly awards for May when it comes to all of the talent that you see on a weekly basis in MLS Next Pro. Setting you up for the week that will be, and we mentioned that we've already had some action this week. Monday, it was a City 2 over Tacoma Defiance at Starfire by the final of 2-0. Thursday at uh, Drive Pink Stadium in Fort Lauderdale on MLS Season Pass, Inter Miami 2 hosting FC Cincinnati 2. Friday night, fairly busy, all of them on MLS Season Pass. Atlanta United 2 goes to Chester, Pennsylvania to take on Philadelphia Union 2. You can hear that game on the SDH Network pregame show about 645, kick off a little after 7 o'clock. 9 o'clock, Parmer Field. It is a Whitecaps 2 visiting Austin FC 2. 10 o'clock at Zions Bank Stadium in Harriman, Utah. Los Dos taking on Real Monarch. Saturday, one match at Providence Park, 8 o'clock on season pass. It is at Timbers 2 hosting North Texas SC. Sunday, the very, very busy Sunday that it always is, Crown Legacy at 3.30 on season pass, visiting Historic Crew Stadium to take on Crew 2. MLSNextPro.com, 6 o'clock from Fort Lauderdale. Toronto FC 2 host, goes to play Inter-Miami. OCB hosting FC Cincinnati 2 at Osceola Heritage Park. 7 o'clock, Joe Davis Stadium on season pass, Hunt City and City 2. It is uh, also on season pass at 7 o'clock. Houston Dynamo 2 at the National Sports Center taking on Loons 2. And it is the Hudson River Derby on uh, Sunday, June the 11th at 7 o'clock at Belson Stadium. It is uh, Red Bulls at NYCFC. 7.30 on season pass at PayPal Park, Tacoma Defiance, and Earthquakes 2. Colorado Rapids 2 go to Cal State Fullerton to take on LAFC 2. And at 8 o'clock on MLSNextPro.com, Chicago Fire 2 visiting Gillette to take on New England Revolution. So as we say, very, very busy time here in MLS Next Pro. And we'll be here to cover it with you every single week. For everybody here at SDH, I'm just John. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's the story for another week of MLS Next Pro. If you are in market and can catch matches, please do so. You get to see how the next generation and the next wave of players heading toward Major League Soccer gets to shine in front of uh, the fans of their second teams and in markets like Huntsville, Alabama as well. If you are in market can't make it, follow along in your local providers. If you're out of market and still want to follow along, you can do so on uh, Apple TV, MLSNextPro.com, and MLS Season Pass. Play it safe, everybody. Enjoy the games of MLS Next Pro. We'll catch up with you next week.